South Florida is really mad. Baseball has been really bad to South Florida for many years, and I don't believe that uh, baseball deserves a single customer in South Florida. So that's where we start, and it's not much of a welcome, but... It's a nice way of saying thank you for the time. Well, today. thank you for the time, but thank you for the time, but I want to get to the question. Yeah. So thank you, Rob, for joining <laughs> us, but were you aware Well, can of- I stop? Uh, l- let me just stop you. I mean, the, you know, I understand um, the concerns that have been expressed in South Florida. Um, The one thing that I think you leave out in your description is there have been two World Series champions in South Florida. Um, Whether people like everything that happened in between, after, or not, um, there's a lot of markets who would make that trade in terms of having those two World Series champions. Rob, were you aware of Jeter's plan to trade players and slash payroll? You know, it's interesting um, yes or no, please. Don't. Yes or no, please. Uh, you know, I, I'm happy to do yes or no's. You can add, you I'm can elaborate afterward. I just want to know if you were aware but, of that plan. Like you appro- if you did you approve a plan that had slash payroll again we, for South we Florida? Do, we do not approve um, operating decisions by any ownership, R- new Rob, owners, Rob. current owners or not. Rob. And as a result, the answer to that question is no. I'm not going to be deposed like this is some adversary thing. You want to ask me questions, I'll answer them the way that I want to answer them. Okay, if but that's, that's not fine. good enough, we can move on. No, that's fine. I'll do it that way, but you can't come you're coming on here and saying that you weren't aware of Jeter's plan to trade players and slash payroll like they, we're starting with a lie, Rob. Like that's where we're starting. Like you no, can't I'm tell me you're not aware of that. I'm going to have you call me a liar. I explained to you that we do not, we do not get involved in operating level decisions in the ownership process, the ownership approval process. Clubs make those local decisions. Rob, were you, made, were you aware of his plan, though? Were you no. aware of it? No. We were. We did not have player-specific plans from the Miami Marlins or any other team. Did every that plan prove in the ownership process? Those are decisions that the individual owners make, and they do not have to be cleared with us did or every, approved by us. Did every plan that end up on your desk from all the owners all have payroll slashing in them? Yes or no? Not individual players. Payroll slashing to take care of the debt. Yes or no? The first, the the first payroll plan from the new ownership arrived here two days ago. Rob Manfred with us on ESPN Radio. Rob, is it normal when when new owners are buying a team, Major League Baseball? Is it normal for them to say, "Hey, here's the vision. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna trade Stanton. We're gonna slash payroll." Isn't that a normal practice? Like, correct us if we're wrong. Is that a normal practice? This can't. It sounds like this was a surprise to you, Rob, and it it just seems that stretches credibility. Like, a surprise that Jeter was gonna do this. Like, you know what the money is. You know how much Jeter has. You know the amount of money involved. Like, you know the dollar amounts. this is happening without it just that part doesn't it, make sense. What do you what about that doesn't make sense? We don't approve, dictate or necessarily ask clubs what they're going to do with respect to their individual operations. Those are local decisions that that really are not part of the approval process. Are are you aware that Jeter has an employment contract that pays him where he doesn't have to make cash calls, that he is going to be paid for profit? So again, you guys are going to end up in one of these situations where if he fails as a business, he can just keep cutting payroll. Are you aware that Jeter I'm has that in his that- contract? I'm aware that Derek has an employment contract. Um, Every individual provision in that contract, I I couldn't tell you whether you're accurate or not right now. I did see the contract at the time of the approval, but I can't, I just can't recall the provision you're talking about. Uh, Why would you approve? uh, Why would you know? Did you know that a dismantling was coming? Yes or no? No. Okay. Uh, We approved. Look, this is really simple. We approved a very well-funded group that made numerous presentations to us about their commitment to provide winning baseball in South Florida over the long haul. 
Okay, that's generally what we look for in the approval process. We don't get into are you going to trade player X or player Y at a particular point in time, or nor do we ask them to make a commitment as to what they're going to do with payroll before they've even got in and made an evaluation of their talent level, the, the, their ability to win with the people that they have there. That's just not how the ownership process works. Well, explain to us how it does work. Like, because you're the commissioner of baseball, your one of your jobs is to get ownership consolidarity on whether they're going to approve somebody into your club. They approve Derek Jeter. You know how to get that solidarity. It's part of your job. Well, so explain to me how it happened without approve- you knowing it. Okay, let's let's try to actually get the facts correct. Okay, they approved a group headed by Bruce Sherman. Okay, number one. Number two. Just like in every other ownership transfer, we examined the financial wherewithal of the group. We made sure that the governance structure of the partnership was consistent with our rules. And we had interviews with the people who were going to be running the club um, to get a general understanding of their approach to running the club. Everyone that was involved in that process, including me, was convinced that this group is committed to winning baseball in South Florida over the long haul. Is Bruce Sherman using Derek Jeter as a meat shield? You'd have to ask Mr. Sherman what well, I, I tried what to, his but his secretary sent are. me to Derek Jeter. She referred all questions to Derek Jeter. I tried to. I did that on the air. She told me, Look, please uh, talk to Mr. Uh, Jeter. Uh, 